you've seen a map of what Florida will look like after a few feet of sea level rise, it's kind of interesting. But I guarantee you, uh, all of you will be able to outwalk sea level rise. What you won't be able to do is eat. To stay safe and healthy during high heat, please follow these easy steps. Stay indoors and out of the sun during the day. Use your air conditioner and keep it well maintained. When scientists talk about global warming, they talk about how much the average global temperature will rise. between 3 and 10 and a half the degrees the Fahrenheit. The Western Antarctica is losing ice at a rate of more than 100 The oil industry it is a heavily subsidized industry. The coal industry is heavily subsidized. Both of those have been subsidized for almost 100 and years. Cooling events that happen naturally. There are cycles in the Earth system superimposed on that, though. We're seeing a very clear signal of human-induced warming. Since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, the world is grown to rely heavily on fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas to power many of our daily activities. The smoke billowing from factories was a sign of productivity. Climate, if CO2 emissions were curtailed almost immediately, and we're still facing very substantial climate change, mainly because of the heat that's been stored in the oceans and will be released over that time, and because of the long atmospheric lifetime of CO2. Once you put the CO2 up there, it's very hard to get it back. So we're facing a pretty substantial climate commitment regardless of any emission mitigation actions that we do. Don't we really risk our own damnation every day by destroying the air? The natural case lies in its feedbacks, which then amplify and amplify over time. A very wide range of climate impacts that are already occurring across all the sectors that we examined. Including the middle of the United States, face heat waves where the temperature soars above 120 Fahrenheit. The world's leading industrialized nations agreed to cut greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by 2050. A 50% cut from today's level by 2050 will not forestall Serious climate change. We have to be honest with ourselves, uh, face up to the fact that we're losing right now. We're losing the planet. We're winning a lot of battles. And we're still saying that we need to in else for the year. We seek to share with all politics the goal of achieving. Right now we're really stuck in a partisan bickering. It's an emergency of our own making.